the BMW 435 is one of my favorite cars I've ever driven, honestly. And I've driven a lot of cars. Um, you know, I wasn't at the point where I was going to spend $100,000 on a car, but, you know, I wasn't going to spend twenty five dollars either because I'm a car guy. And if you're like me and you like cars, then there's nothing wrong with uh, getting a nice car. I mean, I don't, you know, some people are going to say it's wasteful. Well, that's in their opinion, you know, in their mind, it's, it's wasteful because they don't see the value because they're not like me. They didn't grow up loving cars. I grew up loving cars. So one of the biggest motivations to me is actually cars, you know, and I think it, actually a lot of people are like this because if you look at, uh, you know, some of the people that follow these big YouTube influencers and all these guys, they're driving Lamborghinis and everybody wants to know how to get one, uh, but they don't want to do the work to get there. So, you know, the, the, the way that you get to have that kind of stuff is by doing things that other people either don't know how to do or not willing to do. And for me, all the motivation that I needed when I was young had to do with materialistic items. And the older that I get, the less important that is. Now, I'm not saying it's not important to me because I would be lying to you if I told you that I didn't like nice things. You know, why live if you're not gonna be comfortable and have choices? You know, you wanna have a lot of choices, then you need a lot of money. And you need, you know, maybe for some of you young guys, what you actually need is some real goals. You need some goals. And if, if you're like me and, and cars motivate you, then why can't you set a goal that has something to do with a, a nice car? What's wrong with that? Now, if you asked your parents, maybe they're gonna tell you that's stupid, but you, they're not the one that's, keep, that's gonna keep you motivated. You're the one that's gonna keep you motivated. So for me, you know, the fact that I want a, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, may, some people may look at that, that that's stupid or that that would be showing off. And yeah, I'm sure it would look like that, but remember, I've been like, I've liked cars since I was a little kid. I can't remember a time when I wasn't into cars. I loved Ferraris and Lamborghinis as a young kid. And you know, that quickly grew into BMWs, Mercedes, Audi, and, and I can tell you BMW is, if you're not gonna spend $100,000 plus, BMW is the, the premier luxury car brand for a driver. And what I mean by driver is somebody that likes driving cars. So after driving this car for three years, I could tell you it's one of the best driving cars and I'm driving it right now in sport mode see yeah I almost always drive it in sport mode sport mode opens up the exhaust system it shifts at higher rpms it downshifts quicker um, it's just the turbos kick in fast on this car and this is a straight six twin turbo so this is basically the old m3 engine if you remember the m3s in the 90s and 2000s they had a straight six tw uh, twin turbo engine it might even been just a straight six turbo. I don't remember, but I, you know, the newer ones are straight six twin turbo. And these engines, you can tune them and pull another 50, 60, 70 horsepower out of the cars safely without damaging the car. Uh, you can get the JB4 tune, you can get the Dynan tune, and these cars are built to have a lot more power than BMW tunes them for. I mean, these cars, are extremely capable uh, pieces of equipment and you know I can tell you right now you're yeah if you're a car guy you got to drive one of these the new the new ones I got a chance to drive the 2020 M340 XI and this M340 it's not an M3 so don't confuse it with the M3 but it honestly drives like an M3. This thing screams and it's a sleeper. It doesn't look like it if you look at the car, but if you drive that thing, man, you throw it in sport mode and you step on it. It's it's one of the fastest cars. It might be the, fa yeah, no, it's one of the fastest cars I've ever driven. It's just unbelievable, that thing. So, but the one thing that I do really like about BMW is they, I haven't had any problems with this car and when I've driven other luxury cars, I always have electrical problems. Audi, 
Audi, you get a ton of problems. And here in Pittsburgh, it's, it's not only what car you drive, but what dealership you go to. If you go to the Audi dealership in Swickley, it's completely different than the BMW dealership. The BMW dealerships managed properly. The employees there are friendly. You go to Audi, they're snobs over there. And, and maybe not all the guys, so I'm, not sp I'm speaking in general here from my experience. Terrible, terrible customer service experience with Audi. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. I wouldn't recommend an Audi to anybody. And my wife has it. I hate it. I can't wait to get rid of it. I mean, yeah, it's a nice car, but uh, you mean the amount of problems that we have right now, the problems that we have, the, the window, the driver's window, sometimes will go up, sometimes it'll go down. You know, it doesn't always work. And that's kind of weird when you're pulling up in a $70,000 luxury SUV truck and you can't even get your coffee. You gotta, you gotta open your door at the drive-thru. And we've had problem after problem. For example, one of our headlights just went out. Guess what it cost to, to replace the headlight housing? $800, $800. And that's not even including installation. That's just the part. So, you know, if you're gonna buy a luxury car, the one thing I would say is you better expect to pay a lot more for the maintenance. Now, you may have an opportunity to lease the car and that might be a little bit of a different scenario. Depending on the business that you have, if you're in business, you have two options. One is you lease a car and you write off 100% of it, and the second option is that you buy, you buy a car that's over 6,000 pounds, it's typically an SUV or a truck, and you can write off 100% of it. it. Has to be 6,000 pounds or more. At least that's the way the law was last time I checked. So, you know, these BMWs, they drive, the handling is so tight. You know, they talk about the, the three series being, you know, the car and driver's car, all these, all these different awards that it won, 10 years standing, it was the number one sedan. And I never understood why, but I drove it. Actually, I drove the three series and I drove the four series and I ended up with the 435, which at the time was the highest engine you could get in the 4 Series and I, I went for the 4 Series Grand Coupe as you can see I got a back seat and I got four doors and this car is just absolutely incredible there's no sedan that you can get for the money that I would put ahead of this car including the Mercedes C-Class or any of the other small luxury sedans that you can get uh, this is a hell of a lot bigger in the back seat than the 3 Series and the one thing that's cool that I like is the uh, the hatchback on the trunk. The hatchback on the trunk allows you to get in and out of the trunk very easily. I mean, the, you have a ton of space back there. And then, it, of course, the rear seats fold down. So if you're like me and you got two kids, but you want a sports car, you gotta go for a four-door sedan. And they make the four series a lower and wider. It's So it's got a longer wheelbase and it's lower and it's wider. So you're gonna get much, much better handling. And you throw it in sport mode, the steering wheel tightens up. You literally, you could be on the highway, you're not having to go like this to move the wheel. You know when you drive like an SUV or like a van or a truck, you're constantly moving the wheel around to, to, to keep going straight. With this BMW, you literally, I could take my hand off the wheel right now and I'll just keep going straight. The, the steering wheel will hold the car in the drive in the straight line position and it's not moving like these cars are just made so well so that's a little bit of my own two cents I'm gonna be doing probably a full review where I walk around show some details on the car but I thought I would share this with you guys because I'm getting ready to turn this in for an, uh, the, a newer 2020 and you guys will have to wait to see what I get I'll do a full review on that car as well. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like cars, you like watches, you like shoes, you like making money. You know, that's what we talk about here on the channel. And it's not just going to be cars, it's not just going to be shoes, and it's not just going to be making money. It's going to be a combination of the three. Uh, and you might see some other stuff on there too. It's not, you know, this channel's not my business. It's my, it's uh, a hobby of mine, and I'm doing it to learn how to do, uh, produce better video content. I'm using my hobby to make me a better businessman. Alright, so subscribe, hit me a comment down below, 
Let me know what kind of cars you guys like. What luxury car do you think is the best luxury car and why? You know, what are the what are the new models that are coming out? And the one thing that sucks is you can't get a manual transmission in any of the luxury sedans anymore. They all have the eight-speed automatic. And I get it, they're way more efficient than, you know, some of the car, the manual transmissions, but a manual transmission is just so much more fun to drive. So, you know, if you're a car guy like me, you might want to try to find a car with a manual transmission. You're gonna have trouble finding a good car with one. There's very few. They don't even make the, the three series, the new three series doesn't come out with one. The four series, unless you get the coupe, you can't get it. So a lot of the cars, they're like sports cars you can get, but I need a four door sedan that's a sports car. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I should get. Is there something that you guys think I should drive before I pick up another BMW? All right, hit me up.